This is the video for lesson 33 on my website, Introduction to the Cartesian Coordinate System. Very often in math, we need to plot points on a graph. And the system that we use in math is called the Cartesian Coordinate System. What we're looking at here is a very simplified example of what it looks like. We call the horizontal axis, this one on the bottom, we call the x-axis. And you can see that what I've done is I started at 0, and each line, each vertical line along the x-axis I've labeled uh, with an increasing digit. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and put a little arrow here and label this x to show that this is the x-axis and it continues on forever. I've stopped at 5 for this example but if we needed to we could keep going. We could also, we also don't have to number the lines in this way if it was more to our advantage, we could number them 10, 20, 30, 40. We could do 2, 4, 6, 8, whatever makes sense for the particular example that we're working with. Now, the vertical axis here is called the y-axis. I'll label it y. And again, it goes on forever, as high as we need it to. But in this case, I've stopped it at 5. Okay, And this is always how we're going to set up a graph. Again, this is a very simplified example, but this is the basics of what we're always going to have. Let's take a look at how we can actually identify these four points that are plotted on this graph. Let's start with the square here. To identify a point, we always have to state the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. What that means is we look to see how far along the x-axis the point is, in other words, how far to the right, and then how far up it is on the y-axis. We always list the x-coordinate first. So what we do is this is the format. We always start with parentheses and we list the x-coordinate first. We can see that it's 1 to the right, so I'll put 1. And we can see that it's 3 up on the y-axis, so I'll put comma 3. And we can say the coordinates of this point, this square point, is 1 comma 3. This is always how we do it. The x-coordinate comes first, then the y-coordinate. In alphabetical order, if it helps you remember it, x comma y. Let's find the coordinates of this circle point. It's 2 to the right and 4 up, so we write 2 comma 4. Let's look at the star. It's 3 to the right and 1 up. And the triangle is 5 to the right and 2 up, so I'll label it like this. Make sure that you feel very comfortable identifying points in this fashion. Later, we'll take this lesson to the next level including expanding the x and y axes in the negative direction. So we'll start to get negative points. You'll learn more about that later.